The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Looney out there with Andrew Wiggins. And for the Nets, Cameron Johnson is out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. Then there's Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Bridges. Go. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard. He'll be the Nets off the tip. One thing to expect tonight, Richard, a battle on the glass. These are two of the best rebounding teams in the NBA. It's an aspect of the game we don't talk about enough. If you can control the glass normally, you control the flow. It's harder to thread those passes inside, but the reward is evident. Right side, Green. Looney. And the powerful one-handed slam. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Green inside. Finney Smith defending. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Curry passes to Thompson. Six to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. There's three pointers off the mark. Still very early, but that's not the start they want. One for five shooting. And despite the KD Kyrie era fizzling out, Richard, you saw this firsthand. Brooklyn proved they are a destination franchise. Yeah, just getting KD and getting Kyrie to sign was a win for the Nets. It proved that all stars will go to Brooklyn. Now it's about finding the right stars. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for Brooklyn. Last time in San Francisco, they lost to the Warriors. Well, they were on the wrong side of a very close matchup last time they met. But what a great game. Look at the release from Johnson getting that shot off before the defenders can close out. Curry looking around. Tries it from the top of the key. And he hits the jump shot. Guys, it's ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Here's Finney Smith. Eight points his last outing. Green with the rebound. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. Talking about the grizzled veteran Draymond Green, still such an important player in this game. Yeah, it's just because he's so unique. He doesn't look to score very often. His main focus continues to be on defense and his playmaking ability. And a new group in for the Nets. Trenton Watford's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Royce O'Neal comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Walker's checked in for Johnson. And it's Cameron Thomas in for Bridges. Here's Watford. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his balance. Pass to Kaminga. Outside, Joseph. Here's Pajemski. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And Walker's got the ball here for the Brooklyn Nets. They trail by one. 
over Kaminga. Good on the 13-footer. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. See, this is what analytics don't take into account. Some guys thrive in the mid-range. Really depends on the shooter. It's actually kind of lazy. Here's Pajemski. Basket counts. Pajemski's got his second basket. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Thomas surveying the D. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Warriors lead by one. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. You're just tuning in. It's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game, uh, stance wise? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, it's clearly a focus for them in this one. And no question that all the second chance looks are paying off. The Warriors leading. RJ, the Warriors' dominance of this era has put them among the best franchises of all time. Yes, I would completely agree with that. No one comes close to the Lakers and Celtics, though, Cav. The Warriors, after the Spurs, I think the Spurs are three, but the Warriors and the Bulls, because they had two dominant eras, and not much really before, and not much really after. So on the floor for Golden State to begin the second quarter. Out in the perimeter, Thompson and Wiggins. Looney out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Curry in at the point guard. They get it back. On the wing, Bridges. Hits it from three-point range. This demonstrates how confident Bridges has become. Knows he has a green light to fire away. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Bridges passes to Dinwiddie. And there's the drive. And he uses the glass on the layup. He's good enough where it takes a lot to bother him at the rim like that. The Warriors have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Pass to Looney. Wiggins against Johnson. Out to Thompson, but Trey rebounded by the Nets. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. So they take the lead. Dinwiddie's got four points now in the quarter. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. Kaminga, it's deflected. Right, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. And while we see a number of players get hurt during the season, Richard, Mikael Bridges has remained very durable. He's just an old-school player. That's what they used to do. If you were healthy, you played in every single game, and he's found ways to stay healthy. And the first one drops. And the NBA looking to reduce the amount of carrying recently. Seems like GA ball handlers had to adjust. You know, guards can get away with a lot these days. And it's hard for players and refs to make that adjustment. Ultimately, things need to be kept in check. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Royce O'Neal. And Thomas subbed in for Dinwiddie. Boy, Brooklyn GA did all they could to assemble a championship team, and look what happened. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, you take your swings in this league, and sometimes it works. Sometimes you have to retool, and they still have some good players 
to build around. The Nets with the lead. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Golden State Warriors have made the transformation from a league doormat to an all-time champion since the turn of the century. Now, some sources say that the Warriors are the most valuable franchise in the NBA. And right there amongst the most valuable in the world. New ownership, a new arena, they've made a difference to be sure. But make no mistake, Stephen Curry has been the linchpin. Guys? Absolutely. No doubt. D.A., thank you. Now, here's Johnson. Following the miss by Draymond Green. And he lobs it up toward the rim, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. A multiple-time champion and relentless competitor. Curry's drive to be an all-time great. Well, he's pretty much there. The Warriors shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. First free throw is good. And Richard for the Warriors, a number of future Hall of Famers playing a part. But Stephen Curry, we all know this, is the center of it all. He's the greatest shooter ever, Kev. We all know that. But I, when people say that he changed the game, a lot of times I like to give credit to the entire team. Having Klay Thompson helps Steph be Steph. And having Draymond Green with that defense and his passing ability helps Steph's game go to another level. And yes, records are made to be broken. But RJ made three-point shots. My goodness, Curry is so far ahead of everyone else. Yeah, to me, it comes down to longevity. LeBron passed Kareem on all-time scoring list, so anything is possible. But it's hard to pass Steph because he's just going to keep going. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. Curry with it. Hard to imagine, but the stats are tremendous as he averages close to 27 points a game. Here's Pajemski. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. The way that Curry reads the floor, he could get double-digit assist on any night if he wanted to. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Brooklyn ahead, up one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. And so far, they're out in front, but not by much as we head into the half. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nets' first half? They came in prepared. The offense is firing on all levels. Love the patience, the flow. Very efficient. Valuing possessions is fueling their success right now. This is not a team you want to bet against. At least not tonight. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Their defense has been dismal. Allow their opponent to shoot in the 60s. I'm sure they're getting an earful in the locker room. Amazing they've been able to keep it close. Boy. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Clay Johnson with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. 
I like how they came into this one with the game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Nicholas Claxton out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. Then there's Cam Johnson. Then it's Mikel Bridges. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. So that's the Nets five. And intriguing to see how the Nets have recovered since the departures of Harden, Kyrie, and Katie. But they had grand plans. It just didn't work out. They're picking up the pieces, and we've seen them do this before. The title window may be closed for now, but this team knows how to build their way back. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. And the foul called on Kavon Looney. That is his first foul of the game. Dinwiddie against Curry. Shot from 12. A way better defender than he gets credit for, Steph Curry. Here's Green. And shot off. Excellent D there by Johnson. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Kevin, thanks. Chris Paul is on the back nine of what will be a Hall of Fame career, but he's not ready to hang it up just yet. He said, I don't know if I can ever retire because the emotional roller coaster that you go on during a game, for real, there's nothing like it. His love of the game has never been in question, Kevin. Back to you. Yeah, you're right, David. Never in question. Hey, thanks for that story. And he makes the first. So he gets them both. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. It's a one-point game. They'll face the Lakers after this one. That'll be at home. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Now here's Curry. Six points for him. Shot clock at six. They get it back. Oh, Thompson, tough shot. Look at Thompson outworking the defense, winning that second chance look for his team. Loud up there for Johnson, and not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this, but it's been a nail bite. Nice shot by Thompson. What a strong take by Thompson. Clay's got a big frame for a guard. Out to the right wing. Finney Smith kicks to Dinwiddie. Shoots over Curry. Dinwiddie's shot is off. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. RJ, if you had to choose someone to take the last shot in a big game, Clay Thompson, I'm assuming, is right up there. Oh, Kev, Clay Thompson would be my number one. He plays with an even temperature. His facial expressions never change. He's never too high, never too low. And look, we've obviously seen that he can knock down any shot at any time. Timeout called the Nets. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content.
and a new group in for the Nets. Trenton Watford's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Blaise O'Neal comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Walker's checked in for Johnson. And it's Cameron Thomas in for Bridges. Now here's Dinwiddie. That one falls. Dinwiddie's got four this quarter. Okay, let's throw out the analytics for a moment. When he's taking the mid-range, it's a winning shot. Takes a three. Pajemski's shot is good. Pajemski's got the lead up to four now for the Warriors. Outside Thomas. Tim Witte for three. Offensive rebound, Nets. Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. Passes it to Kaminga. Makes it off the glass. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Down low. Poked away. It's stolen by Kaminga. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. It's picked off. Here's Walker. Knocked loose. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Here's Joseph. Dinwiddie with some nice D. And we've watched three so far in this one. Warriors lead by four. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. And for the defense, it's so tough to guard a big man with that kind of court vision and dime dropping ability. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Warriors. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. Nice pass by Cam Johnson, keeping his eyes up, letting things unfold. And we'll get a look at how the Hustlestat game has been going for the Warriors. Great heads-up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And another thing they did well was just keep the effort up offensively. Lots of boards leading to extra opportunities, which they converted. Free throw no good for Thomas. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. The lead is two. Laser focus from Thompson on that shot. What touch from Thompson on the floater. That's just such a tough shot. Bridges passes to Thomas. Kicks to Johnson. It's Finney Smith, top of the key. And Curry pulls it down. Warriors leading by four. Here's the pass to Green. Clay isn't afraid to get physical if he feels like he can get to the line. First one falls. You love Thompson's dedication to the game. He's dealt with some tough injuries, but he never stopped looking ahead. Always focused on making his return to the court. And 
And so Thompson nails both of them. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Here's Thomas. He doesn't hit that one. Curry with some nice D. Warriors leading by six. Wiggins dishes to Thompson. Thompson gets it inside. You're not going to speed him up. Even when you get aggressive guarding Thompson, he stays in control. He's just so tough to cover. Thomas. Claxton finds Thomas. Goes back up. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. And the first one at the line is good. And Claxton drops them both. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you get a chance to close the gap, you've got to make the most of it. Looney kicks to Curry from deep. Brooklyn with the rebound. Claxton's got rebound number eight now on the night. Pass to Thomas. A second chance effort. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Thompson. Bridges with the board. And that's trail by six. Pass to Claxton. He dishes it to Thomas. Back to Claxton. That's good. That's Thomas picking up the assist. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Curry can't get it to go. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Let's it go from 14. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. To the paint. Got a hand on it. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Thomas. Got it. And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're up by two. 51 seconds left in the game. Let's present our New Balance player of the game, Clay Thompson. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hands. The Nets making a switch here. Then when he's checked in, and now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? 
Hey guys, well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last timeout. Time time he told them this is what it's all about, proving we're the better team in the tough situation. But you gotta want it. Coach told his guys they have what it takes to win here. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. They're down by four. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. against Dinwiddie. Yes! And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Here's Curry. It's good! Once again, Curry, this man has made a living out of big shots like this one. A critical possession right here. Crowd on pins and needles, Kev. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Johnson, a wide-open look. It drops. And that shot brings them to within just one. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Timeout called the Warriors. They're ahead by one. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Thompson, and they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. There's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And so they foul intentionally. will put them up by two. And Thompson is so cool under the rest. His easygoing personality aiding him in these types of situations. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a three-point game. Those were pressure-packed free throws, and he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. Timeout called the Nets. They're trailing by three. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Is what's your take? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game.
Dinwiddie. The Warriors pull it in. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. the first one and that gives them a four point cushion. So he goes two for two at the lock and it's a five point game. Making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here. That pretty much did. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. He's just a superb free throw shooter. Clay Thompson's exactly who you want on that line. You need him on that line. And so both free throws are good. And it's a four point ball game. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Hey, thanks very much, Clay. You had it going tonight. Now, when you are that hot, what are you trying to do on the court? Uh, took a couple bad shots, a couple heat checks, but they went in tonight. Fortunately, when you got the hot hand, you're just looking for that little ounce of space because all you need is an inch or two and that thing's just flicking off the wrist so easy, and it just happened to be one of those nights. That leads to one of those wins for your team, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.